Dengue experts from the region say vaccines can play a bigger role in the fight against the virus. At the Asia Dengue Summit here in Singapore, two firms have reported findings for potential vaccines, which are at various stages of trials. Takeda says that its vaccine has long-term efficacy of over 80% against hospitalization and 60% for dengue symptoms. Now, it's undergoing regulatory reviews in Singapore and Europe. When it comes to vaccination, we are looking at the host immunity against the virus. So that, as I said, is an additional layer in terms of the protection against the viral infection that is also mosquito-borne. The virus is transmitted uh, through the bite of a mosquito. So but once the virus enters the host, this is where the vaccine comes in in order to protect the host against the viral infection. Takeda says that over 20,000 participants have received almost 40,000 doses of the vaccine as part of clinical trials. MSD, another firm, has completed the first phase of studies. An expert, however, says that it could take some time before these vaccines enter the market. He adds that the developments are encouraging and it could help people avoid dangerous infections. It could require only two doses and... Uh, won't need the earlier exposure to the virus. It's an evolution from the previous vaccine approved in 2016. The recent surge in Singapore is because there was a change in the serotype that's circulating from dengue 2 to dengue 3. So the third evolution is with one of these potential new vaccines. We are seeing protection equally across all the four dengue serotypes. So that's very important because the virus types can change from time to time. 